What's up guys, here with a review for the new Saboteur gear set. We got a 4 star set here, and apparently there is no 5 or 6 star gear set. And if you see the IAP deals pop up, the crate says 4 to 4 stars. Um, so obviously that's not 5 or 6 stars, it's, you know, it, it was advertised as 4 to 6 stars, so either the advertisement was wrong or something went wrong with bringing them into the game, but either way, seems like there is only 4 star gear. Uh, this is a full set here, it is available in the shop as well. And got a deal pop up, dismiss that, we got a restricted gear crate with the event tab over it, it's very subtle. There's no, there's usually no announcement of it, and most veteran players know about this by now. Well, I should say all veteran players, it's safe to say that. Um, but some newer players might not realize that. When there is an event tab above it, that means that the gear is seasonal, and it means that the gear is available in that crate. There is a chance for it. Um, and then we got our 100% SMD and handgun crate. Um, you can jump around the After Pulse forums if you want some info on that. Some people have talked about it um, in terms of what you can get out of there. Um, let's take a look at the gear set real quick. We got this 4 star Mamba Saboteur mask. And I can totally dig this. You know, it, it's, it's very terrorist-esque. Um, you know, a, another type of camo pattern. You know, I'm a sucker for camos. Um, but we got 15% extra range with SMG and handgun. Um, so I'm really glad that they did this because the UNK CQB Charlie was really lacking on range. <laughs> no, completely kidding. Um, you know, if if the UNK CQB Charlie was not in this game, I think this would be a fine piece of gear to introduce. I think it's good for the other SMGs and I think it's good for the handguns. Um, but this coupled with the UNK CQB Charlie, I mean, come on, that's, you know, it's getting to be a little much. Um, you know, I haven't played much multiplayer lately, just been farming like crazy. Um, so I haven't ran into a UNK player with this headgear yet, but I'm sure it'll be, you know, make it even harder than as, as always. Um, so we'll see how that goes and maybe we'll see someone in this review, um, go against someone using this. And we got 934, we got great portability, pretty low defense, but it is a 4 star piece of gear. You have to remember that 4 star piece of gear, uh, so defense 1253. And we got a 2 piece and 3 piece set bonus, which is cooldown for stun and con concussion grenades. It is faster, 15% faster with the 2 piece set, and 30% faster with the 3 piece set. And we'll take a look at the jacket. Wasn't sure if it was a vest or a jacket or what, but I guess they're calling it the Mamba Saboteur jacket. Um, and now, you know, the spikes and whatever, these, these belts around the arm, you know, kind of look like some S&M type of stuff, but, you know, not... You know, I don't know, <laughs> not my style of gear. Um, without you know saying anything too crazy on my YouTube channel here, you know, it's just not my style of gear. Um, that said, once you see me running with it, you know, it, 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 it looks okay. And you obviously, when you're running around with it, you only see it from the back here. So, you know, there's only a couple spikes on the shoulders that you have to that are really an eyesore from the back, but you know, overall, it's, it's not bad, you know. I guess, you know, I, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it, um, but the boost is an extra 20% stability with SMG and handgun, 835 portability, 3134 defense, now, that's not too bad, I mean, you think of the light urban vest, I think the fastest vest in the game, and that's at 880, um, so for a 4 star piece of gear, this is very portable, um, defense isn't too bad, but... You know, a lot of the a lot of the good vests have boosts in protection. Like the light urban vest, I think is like 3,200 defense or something like that, but it has 25% extra assault protection. Yeah, so 3,700. So you know, about a 500 point difference, 600 point difference in the base defense 
you know but remember it's a four star piece of gear so i don't think it's bad for a four star piece of gear um you know i've just been spoiled to be able to have a lot of six star gear um since you know obviously there should be a difference between four and six star gear so uh then we got the same two and three piece set bonuses already at like six minutes here <laughs> um so we got these pants here it's uh you know got that that little style of belt reminds me of everyone in middle school and maybe early high school back in my day at least which was not too long ago contrary to uh my in-game name i'm actually not that old um but you know it's not bad i can i can dig the like crocodile snakeskin whatever it is just looks like any type of reptile um the the skin pattern you know the green on the pants i can i can dig that you know boots aren't too bad um knee pads pretty generic you know call me boring but i'm a fan of generic i guess um and you just got some pouches there and obviously you know one belt for practicality and another belt for style <laughs> that's the ultimate i don't know tactical advantage right <laughs> um but we got plus seven percent accuracy while on the move with smg and handgun and 901 portability so you know not as fast as like the light urban pants um you know not as fast as like the civilian black jeans with the handgun but still you know relatively fast 901 is not bad at all uh, but the defense is pretty low. Um, I know like Foxtrot pants off the top of my head are like 2,800. Um, so about a thousand points difference in defense from, you know, a typical six star piece of gear pants. Um, once again, it, you know, it's just not bad. It's not bad for a four star, right? But um, obviously the, the two piece and three piece set bonus is there. Um, but overall, defense at 62, 67, that's pretty low. Um, I've said it multiple times in my videos. I think the benchmark that you should be hitting is 7,500. And nowadays, with the new Patriot gear especially, it's, it's not hard to get up to 9,000, even 10,000. Um, so, you know, take it for what it is. Wearing this setup, you will get one-shotted by some snipers out there. Um, you will probably die from more grenades, flashbangs, that type of thing. But, you know, that comes with a, a trade-off for more portability. 3330 is not bad at all. And I equipped my UNKCQB Charlie for the sake of utilizing the SMG boost. And I got my KG-18 Chrome for the sake of utilizing the handgun boost. Now after all that, we will finally try to jump into a multiplayer game here. Alright, so here we are in aircraft, and you saw right there just how quick you can run up with this thing. Portability is just fine. And great, we got Buffalo 82 YPA in here. He's a well-known camper. Shout out to him. <laughs> you know, it's, it's playing tactically. It's not really like bad camping but I don't know every time I play him he's quote unquote camping and you know he's a good player I'll give it to him but it's it's frustrating to play against good players right um, so we'll see how this goes but I uh, just cut out some clips here and uh, I'll just pile them together as opposed to just watching me get wrecked all the time because the defense is very low on this gear here comes one we got him no problem with the UNK there and back in our spawn now. I think we got a sniper down there. We got one hanging out in that little sight line. We'll try to run up. See if anybody's over there. Doesn't look like it. No hit markers on that stun. Uh, but watch the recharge time. We can throw a stun right now. Um, obviously we're wearing the, the three piece set. So the recharge time on stuns is absolutely incredible. Um, just showing some love there. That's all that is. <laughs> Clearly not hate, definitely not hate, I would never hate. <laughs> um, there's another kill, another stun grenade, and 
yeah, I mean, basically I would call this set the, the stun set. You can just throw stuns all day. And what does he got? Delta pants on? Looks like Delta pants. Anyway, we are back in our spawn once again. And clearly a bunch of noob teammates. And I don't know. I, I'm just playing for fun here. I don't really care, but... If I was being a tryhard here, I'd get really mad at my teammates for playing the way they are. But you see there, we just got taken out by a 3-star. And it wasn't... It didn't take that long to kill us. Um, so the defense is very low. Here's a great example again. Right there, one-shotted with a 4-star MKL11A9. It is a veteran, but it's still a 4-star, so... You really shouldn't be getting one-shotted by four-star sniper rifles, so defense, that just goes to prove that defense is a little low on this gear. Got my noob teammates, don't know how to get out of a spawn trap, and I don't have my launcher with me, which I would absolutely go for regardless of the handgun boost on this gear. There's another one-shot, that's frustrating. Um... You see there, I mean, 8-8-1, eight, eight, and one, that's kind of why I chopped up that match, it was a boring match, and you just die too much with the protection of 4-star gear, it's just not enough. Um, let's see, someone coming up here. Oh, it's Buffalo again. Of course, he goes right behind the barrier. You know, I mean, it's, it's smart playing, I, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm hating, but... It looks like camping. <laughs> it totally does. Get that guy no problem. He shouldn't have ran up. Not the smartest move, but we have the peak advantage on that particular situation. And you see, we're moving up the middle of the map pretty good. Not a huge difference in portability compared to the KG-18 versus the, the UNK CQB Charlie. See if there's one back there. Nobody. We got one behind us that looks like Buffalo. Yeah, there we go. There's a good kill. Looks like we're in a powerful spot now. There's another one. There's one down here. See if we can stun him. Again, you can just throw stuns all day with this gear. It's really nice. If there was a 5 or 6 star set of this gear with defense around 7,500 and the same boosts, I mean, obviously the, the percentage boost, like, plus 15% range would probably go up 5% each time. So the 5-star set of gear would be 5, 20, 20%. I don't know what I'm saying. And uh, the 6-star set of gear would be 25%. Um, that's usually how they tend to go with those types of boosts. But if they had, like, a 5-star, 6-star gear set just like this with the boost for cooldown time on, on stun grenades and you know hopefully base defense would would be around 7500 it, it could be a really good piece of gear especially if you're a heavy stun player let's see run up the side here hopefully nobody's still by that overturned train car Run up the middle on the platform here. I saw something going through the air. There's someone. There's Buffalo again. There's some great range. and yeah, I don't know if that really showcases the boost from the headgear. Because the Unk just has incredible range. And you could, you could probably hit that shot with the Unk even without the headgear. So I don't know if that's the most fair thing. Um, you see there, that's kind of the limit of the range where I was just shooting. You saw that was a pretty hard shot to pull off and obviously I didn't get him. We'll see if we can sneak up here, use our scope. Otherwise we wouldn't be able to see. And we got one. We got Deep Sleep 31. But see, even the four star Autumn killed us really quick. But nine, six, and two there. So not terrible. You know, I'm using a, a six star Ankh. I know a lot of people are going to be like, you know, you didn't do that good with a six star Ankh. What are you doing? Um, really, the, the defense is just too low. Um, and I'm not an SMG player. I'll, I'll add that in there as well. Part of the reason I haven't built up my Ankh 
still like level 13 but anyways these are just some clips on shipwreck of a possible setup um, so basically I think if there's one piece of gear that that somebody wears out of the new saboteur gear I think it's the headpiece a lot of unk players use the four star rider wool cap or they use no headgear at all that seems to be the two choices um, and maybe they'll they'll switch it up once in a while with something else um, so another four star piece of gear you know it's not much different the the rider roll cap is a 10 percent accuracy boost while moving i believe and so now we just got another four star piece of gear which has 15 percent extra range and it doesn't matter whether moving or not um, so I think this will be a decent setup for the Unk, the Light Urban Vest, the Foxtrot Pants for Stun Protection, and the Balaclava, the Mamba Saboteur headgear. Um, but there's there's some other combinations, some gear combinations, maybe I'll throw up some pictures of, of things that are perform might perform well and things that look cool as well. But I just wanted to throw some clips in here of using this setup because I don't think you'll see anybody wearing the full 4-star set.